Didn't see too much action. Genji happy just to play for the retake as that spike gets planted nice and open. So those plants are going to be very valuable over in the pocket, over on the plat. Sean, I'm going to get a bit aggressive there underneath the rafters, and it's a matter of time. Relics. Ooh, dangerous play going in behind the cloud burst, trying to find an angle, but that cloud burst doesn't last very long. Headshot might have been found, but he's whiffed it a little bit. Kusta brings it back with a couple of shots of his own C9. Leaf looking at damn good, but he's traded out as Quinn Sharp with that ghost. Now it's all up to Zeta here. In a one on three, he cannot do a damn thing. GMD says no. Kicks him out of the services. Get out of here. The CTs, the defenders. One comes to uh, the wall, sorry, comes through for safety. Cloud9 are getting, going to get into a post point. Just unable to find anything over the top, but he does find relics on the lurk coming late from mid. A couple of attacker pings coming in saying, yes, there's numbers way in from mid from orange. And C9. Some solid post plans. Look at this late rap coming out as well. Let's see if Leaf can take this contact. He really wants to take a fight here. It's his strong point, his aim. Let's see if the position's gonna be a little bit too wide. He goes out to the side. Do you see the shock dart coming in? Zed up. Perfect timing for one, but he is going to go down, and it's going to be even trades for now. 2v2, make it 2v1 as GMD, only good for a single. But towards Orange, I, I think maybe Zeta just getting one kill and falling off would have been good as well. Cloud9 barely making that one through poise. Also with a kill, but Khalif will. Threading the needle. So now we are going to see a bit of aggression. Mikhail at this flank coming in from Leaf. Even if Zeta didn't get that, Leaf surely would have. So, on control now, Spike needs to be retrieved, but Kusta finds the line and Leaf will fall. So we're back to the three on three scenario. Oh, not for long. Relix, he's going to chime in, coming in through Kitchen Poise as well, connecting. It's just battles going everywhere at the moment. Quinn needs to isolate the one on one, which he does, and he knows the position of the final man. So he drops the Cloud Burst, looks to go for the half tick. It's off, waits. Taps it again, Relix now. He's going the aggressive, he's right in the Cloud Burst, gets behind the wall. But that oh, is bangable. Really wake up at 2 p.m. But it's so, uh, just gamer hours, you know. Anyway, Quinn trying to be a gamer himself. Very aggressive there with the blaze storm. Doesn't work out for Genji at the moment. But we are going to see C9 starting to waltz in towards the A site. That's going to be a bit of control as Mikhail has to fall back. Doesn't want to give up his life. C9 <laughs> Leaf aggressive with the showstopper I'm shooting planted. it in through heaven. GMD looking to lead the charge for the retake now as C9 rotate into the post plants. The numbers are still there, poised in a solid position to go for the trade, deals with that recon vault as well before any information is gained by Genji. The smoke as well, which they have to go through, tap on the bomb, Hunter's Fury baited out, so that's going to be the ultimate dealt with early. Kale finds one of the boys, Leaf falls to GMD, and everything starts to go wrong for C9 until Relic starts to run forward, running! How is that even a kill? Looks for more through the smoke, can't find anything with the Vandal. It was just gonna be GMD looking to clutch this one out. Baits out the swing, but Zeta is too sharp. And there you have it. Anyway, you round, you mean, right. you Genji ask, you win. Genji. Genji win, it'll be fine. You know, he'll he'll be okay with that. That's what Genji won at the end of the day. But Cloud9 are keeping this nice and tight for now. Last couple rounds been beautiful from them and Mikael would love to get a real good spray down. He's not gonna get a single kill. That's really rough and how much HP did Leaf survive? Like seven HP. Man, Genji are not going to be too pleased with that. GMD in a pretty dangerous position, but it works out for one. Leaf close for the trade. Nice positioning from C9 to open up the B site. And again, numbers disadvantage. Quinn trying to thread the needle under the pipes there at mid. Kusta. Ready for that aggression. Leaf continues to hold W. It's his favorite thing at the moment. Just being a nuisance to Gen G, but with the three on three now, Gen G, they're thinking about going for the round. Sean, yeah. bit of kitchen control, but not for long. Zeta jumps up and bops him. Quinn cannot do a thing with relics up on the containers, and that's the round pretty much done and dusted. Booster, There's the recon bolt, might be able to have the position advantage, finds one, but not ready for the swing from Mitch, and there it is, single, but the wall goes oh, out no, in time. Mitch, what have you done? You've completely stopped Leap's rocket from going in the intended direction, and then you've got no defense to get that spike planted either, so this forces Zeta to go on the aggressive, trying to get a bit of control of Orange there. But Mitch now just has to stick it and run back oh, into the open. He's not allowed. This has gone from bad to worse. C9. A little bit of miscommunication not quite working out, but at least this is going to force them off the site for the moment. The lockdown doesn't quite work as intended. Genji. Looks like they're going to find themselves another round as Relics is very far away from that defuse. He's got no time to stop it. He'll fall after the okay, clock. And 
tempt you. There. But are you really gonna go go into tube? Are you really gonna go into orange or kitchen? Because there's a lot of players <laughs> in the kale gets caught decent pick up by Leaf just hanging out on top of the tube. There. Look, you're theorizing what could happen, and Leaf just says, watch this, and uh, runs in, gets a headshot. Which GMD is gonna do right back, saying, look, I'll do it one better with the paranoia this it? time. The mid control, but as this happens, that's the go signal for C9 over towards the A site. Let's see if they get past Twin here, who's just dancing around in the smokes. GMD can't hold Twin down. Kusta finds one. In return onto poise, but Gen G man disadvantage as this spike is going to be planted in a moment. Just waiting out Kusta's Hunter's Fury. Wow, Nine can still go for this risible body of those around there. I mean, 4v2 could be worth it. Here we go. Poise back yep. online. Gen G 2 versus 4 now. It's going to be difficult. Sean's going to go down as well, so not expecting too much more from Kusta here. Minimal utility. He doesn't have a recon anymore. No drone, no shocks, no time. Oh, no teammates. Almost the line up there, but Zeta potential A or mid aggression, and he might find a couple. At this point, wall's gonna come down, and the plant should be following soon. Battle at mid still going though, and relics. He's actually gonna lose it, even though with the info of where the smoke came from, he thought he might have had the position. He is gonna die. So Gen G, get away scot free with that one. No trade. Drone as well, making sure there's no late rotation coming through from C9, but they still have the minute I... on the clock to play with. I think that was actually. Sean's wall. I thought that was Mitch's wall, and that looked like C9 were going to go for it. But if that was actually Sean's wall, which it probably was, that's going to push C9 out, and C9 will respect it. Like you said, still the minutes so they can go anywhere on the map. They've, you know, pulled players off from Genji onto A, and you we would have seen on earlier rounds Genji have overcommitted onto A more than a few times. But yeah, one time where they would have loved to have kept Iman over here, he's gone. Oh, great shot from Quinn. You have to take a shot from Lee first. Can't get out alive. Chance around the bullets does not work out for him. Sean good for a single before please trade C9 B still. The man down. It looks like they should be able to get this plant down. Shockdarts not quite hitting the mark. Looking to my plant that was a little bit wider. Zeta as well. So sharp on the stick. Oh my lord. Two quick ones. Boys unable to trade initially. Paranoia. And he's just going to have to hold his ground for the moment. Cloudburst. Keep a thought in the back of GMD's mind. Looks like Poise is going to go on the aggressive wrapping around. As the GMD looks back the right direction and will connect for a third in the round. And they also cross. It looks like there has been no plant just yet. Late Lurk also coming through. And the Omen for Gen G. All the way into Kitchen now. That should be a freebie. And this is potential for the rotate yeah. with a minute left on the clock. GMD, big work. Relics goes down. Let's see, there is going to be more aggression coming in through mid. Mitch looking and spotting out these rotations. Just with the classic, that's not going to work out at long range. Sean hits back. The combination of him and someone else doing God's work at the moment. And we are going to see all the remaining defenders just grouped up here, looking to make their way through orange straight up the middle. But Gen G, all around them. Full surround. Poise will at least left. find a single, but in the two on four, it's going to be so hard to get back into the round. Zeta. Recon dart for the information. Looks like they're going to try to break the wall for the moment. Zeta cannot stop the ball back to long. But there is going to be a flank coming through, which is now known. Zeta has been binked from behind. He's damn low. You can see that he's pretty much about to fall. One bullet will do it. Poise finds another, though, onto Kusta as Quinn. Just dance around yellow. Drop dart into position. Tries to force them out. Quinn in an awkward spot now. It is going to be Poise versus the world. One on three. Can he make it work? He's found the first. Second position is known, but look at that, the Killjoy turret still in place. It's going to be so hard to deal with what's beat. Still no idea where Poise is for them though, but Poise happy just to hold this mid control, set up for the retake, maybe even just some exits and do some economical damage. Alright, so 4v5 here. Cloud9 are here. also low HP. I wonder if there is a heal available. A little leaf that's going to come back in. But with uh, this kind of numbers, it should be pretty good. The only issue is they don't have equipment. It's 5 SMGs for Gen G, or I guess the 4 now, because they did drop one. I don't know if they would be picked up by Cloud9. Mm -hmm. One might Ooh. be in trouble. Has to yeah, dash out. Yeah, big paranoia allowing this retake to start to come through. The numbers are still there, but everyone's being chipped at. And again, we have the mollies on the bomb there for Mikhail, who's happy just to fight with it. However, there's a wall in the way. We are going to see the half tick come through. It's the full stick. And Kusta needs to try to traverse his way across the line. But Leaf is... ...of time. C9 don't seem to be aware of this position, though. I'm going to try to clear it out. There it is. Relics. Finds... The first blood for the round, it's Leaf as well, again aggressive, whether expected, but even if it's expected, finds two, and the spike over in the attacker spawn. Oh, this man, absolute disrespect, but again, as the mechanics to back it up, Poise, spotted, he's knocked down to within an inch of his life. 
But it's a 4v2. They can't, look, they can't get the spike. Map control C9 have? The problem is you can't get the spike here. It's completely in the open. You have yep. you know, players covering mid as well. I mean, look at the fact that Mitch is coming. Leaf is going to collect three. Mitch is not even going to be there. Easter eggs, etc. You can have him if you want. Okay. Maybe he's on oh, the cut. He's the he's, he's just... Advantage. There's no res on Cloud9 either, so Mitch can't bring Leaf back. Oh. Set it. Up for first contact. Could get a couple here. One is going to be good. Oh. Two is even better. He's been flashed. Probably can't get out, but he's around the corner. You will not he's trying to play as life. close as possible so he can still see the opponents, but he did get flanked eventually. Sean as well with that res. Keeps the numbers in the advantageous situation for Gen G. You have the turret on the flank as they look to take the A site now, but C9, what have they got in store for us? Poise, still standing there. He's still looking to fight with this operator. A couple of pot shots as well with the Blade Fury. Looking to go... A oh, Blade Storm, rather. Looking to go very aggressive. Over towards the A site. Up towards the screen, he's going to go Mitch as well on the flank. Hasn't been spotted initially. There it is. The equalizer back to the three on three. Mikhail down. And the rest. Oh, that's the number. Swinging back the other way now. Sean falls as well. And C9. It's working out for them at the moment. Relics. It's another. It's up to Pusta and GMD. And it looks like it might just work out. They know Mitch. Position who brings it back to the one on one. Does he know where GMD is standing? Up around the elbow. Good position to try to play the post plant. Spike tapped. Wrath expected. Mitch connects, but no I don't think he's got the time. No, he does not. Gee, I'm going to all three wall mess. The, the blast packs are going to try and delete this wall as well, but the plant's going to come through anyway, and Cloud9, they haven't stopped the plant. And Genji, they have the Hunter's Fairy for this post plant. Win with the first pick of the Leaf, and that's the star play for C9 down again. Yeah, these post plants as well with that Hunter's Fury. It's a force to be reckoned with. Let's see if C9 have any chance now. They are going to get that wall down, but again, this Hunter's Fury surely popped on tap. There it is. Kale, another onto Mitch. A C9. The numbers situation here. Zeta. Looking to get aggressive. Oh, he's been marked. The tube. It's so hard for him to clear this angle. Kusta makes light work of him. Recon both as well to see if Leaf is hanging around. And he is, he's going wide, and Leaf makes it work. Somehow, someway, this man, the mechanical god, Poits, has to fall back. Doesn't want to go down to a spam in the smoke there. Gen G playing in the post plant with the numbers again. Poise because he's on an operator, I mean, not ideal for the retake. Would love to be able to swap over to a rifle. Especially now that Leaf is gone, so this is not looking great. Sean will take down Poise. It's just going to come down to one. Relics has to do it all. One versus three. And to be fair, look, I think he will go for it. The problem here is, if once Cloud9 loses, I'm pretty sure they're losing this round. There's just no money, more money left. So it, you, there is a world where Relics should be holding up the gun. He's got to go for the play. Sean will shut him. Retake. Paranoia comes out at the right moment, but Relics doesn't go back, but waits for the tap. And there's going to be a whole lot of karma. GMD in a perfect position there at yellow to stop the aggression. Spike goes down, and that's going to be the numbers. However, Poise finds one through the smoke. Disgusting. Pulled out the blade flurry as well. Blade storm rather. Just looking to find a little bit more. Leaf as well. Swinging wide over towards yellow he goes. Oh, he's still just looking to throw a couple of knives at the enemy. And there's the opportunity. Gets the reset. Now that's pretty much the round for him. But GMD, he's gone very aggressively. Good position. Spotted though in the top oh. of sight. He manages to find two from there. He needs to go for the 4k to make this one happen. Spamming on the bomb. No one's there. And oh, he makes it work. Gen G. Nowhere to run. It does cost them the wall early. Okay. There's that res coming through. Gen G looking for a little bit more impact. Straight down mid. Doesn't quite work out. 4v5 now. Still you can see. Yeoman and Sova ultis are ready to be activated for C9. So we're going to keep them alive for as long as possible is certainly a priority. There. It's actually massive, considering the fact that Gen G were up by one, the res comes through. They try to counter the res with the Hunter's Fury. Poise only barely dashes away. I think he still took one shot from that Hunter's Fury. And then on top of that, Kusha died. So Cloud9 have turned around a 4v5 into a 5v4. And with Relics down, it will be Gen G answering. Can they fully control the site, though? They still. To get this spike planted. No one's actually rotated in time from C9, so let's see if Leaf can maybe come around the back. He's used those blast packs to get to the short side of Snowman. Just waiting for another smoke to go down. Boys as well following in. Leaf, he's just running. He's doing what he does best. He's just tapping heads left, right, and center. Now C9, they've got the number Zed. It chimes in as well with another. Mikhail holds his ground and still has a couple of 
Well, he's on the bomb, I believe. Doesn't win the fight, though. Mitch will take him down. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be going to overtime. Doesn't really matter which version. Oh, hang on. <gasps> this is great. GMD's going to use the water boost stuff and Khalif is going to go straight in. He is certainly running it straight down mid as best he can, but Gen G holds strong for now. Come out with the advantage in terms of numbers, and now C9 trying to make their way up long instead. Still control of the spike and the site as well, so might be able to play from the post plants. Let's see though if Zeta, he's going to actually try to equalize, going aggressively over towards Orange. So it looks like we are going to see Gen G take it slow, wait for that recon dart to come back up. Try to get that out to. Get as much information as possible on the positioning of both the C9 members. You fought well. Nice pick from C9 <laughs> Mitch over here. Deletes the recon as well. Slow orb to make sure he doesn't get pushed. And the utility is to run out now. I mean, what more does Kush to have? Most of his stuff is gone. It's going to come down for 1v1. Even the race is available. He's going to go for the res. He's losing HP. What's he doing? Zeta. He's trying to get the re res. And maybe, look, you can see, all right, Sean's thinking, do I, I might, maybe I've oh, time to go for this one. I don't know where Zeta is anyway. Probably he's not going to be shooting at me. All the Cloud9 are coming through. They're going to try to slow this one down. The wall's there as well. Flash. As Relic's push. He tries to get punished. Yeah, Quinn, solid position to stop that aggression. Manages to make light work of them at the moment. Numbers for Gen G now. Skusta's very far on the flank. Just waiting for this Lurk to come through. Looks like Zeta's certainly threaded the needle in terms of the timing. Can we get in? But it matters most. Spark's actually going to be planted for maybe this mid flank to have a bit of impact as well. So even C9 get back in, they have to worry about that. But Leaf now starting to go forward with C9. Looking to close the distance as best they can. Quinn goes down after finding the triple in the round. And there you have it. It's back to the one-on-one. Kusta not revealing his position just yet. Ping comes through. He's not going to spot anyone, but the defuse is there. And it gets done because the spike was half-ticked already. Common. From most defensive teams, crossfire in towards market. Oh. One thing got a GMT and a pickup as well. Into a heal, doesn't even have to dismiss. He's overhealed for good 30 seconds or so now. And Leaf, off the back of that, is just going to get aggressive. Just prodding for more information at mid. Spotted by the turret though, falls back as Gen G start to make their way up short through tree. Relics tagging away, Kusta down low, but it looks like we are going to see Genji get control of sight and plant the spike. But C9, look at this, they're going for the flood straight into sight, knowing that the numbers are going to be in out. It's working out for the moment. Quinn traded out by Leaf, and Leaf goes for the 4k on the pistol. Big. Get Leaf one kill plus orb here. They can still get an advantage there. I'm going to check early. Aldrom spots a turret, but that's it. Okay, well, finds the lineup and does have the advantage in terms of firepower. It's going to be tagged up by the drone, though, so. Wait for the pulses. Shock dart finishes him off, and Zeta happy with that scenario. Could be gun available as well. If C9 actually want to push for it, but oh. at this point in time, your paranoia is going to fly on in, and well, C9 want to get a little bit aggressive here. I think that's actually given the opening for Gen G. They clean up the members from Cloud now. They try and push through onto Catwalking. Mostly a free side, especially now that Huan has cleaned up onto Zeta. It's one versus three, and for poise. I don't think he's got the right equipment. He, no, he's actually got the only rifle, so he does have the right equipment, but he doesn't have any life. However, he's managed to find the first kill. Kusta low. Poise as well, just on 34 HP. Can see that the trade is One about to happen, enemy. but as he drops down, win! He's actually going to go down, and he knows the position of Kusta as well, so... I mean, Kusta has to peek here, but low. Is he going to go for it? He jiggles, tries to bait out... Get off the spike and hold off, but it didn't work out that time. Now, looks like we are going to see both teams have a bit of a battle for oh, win now, and win with the blade storm is making light work of them for the moment. Poise, however, teams up with relics to take control of mid. Stop Gen G in their tracks. Now, as well to heaven, which should buy them just enough time to get this planted safely. C9 looking to play the numbers game, trade things out on this retake. However, you can see the mollies were placed on the bomb just in time from. Kale, pinging, he can look to go for the spam as the push comes in, turret, maybe enough of a cover to allow them to start to make their way back in, but Kusta close, oh my god, please, the right click does not work out, but the trade is there, but Kale brings it back to the one on one, now, let's see if Genji again can Lockdown. win, oh, he's got it just in time, drops it, now just has to buy the time as well, we are going to see at least the half tick come out now, Relics might even just wrangle the whole damn thing, it's planted, safe, and he's got the half tick, but is the lockdown gonna happen in time oh he's just barely got the defuse in the last moment tree there 
Crusader starts to edge back towards market spots one. Might have found the lineup, but he's only good for the single. Twin hits back. Guardian gameplay. Going A. Empress can run out here as well. This is really problematic. The Empress got popped so early from Leaf that he's not getting any action. By the time De Zeta gets spotted, if Zeta lives there, this play doesn't happen. Genji don't get to just get to go A. Relics' timing is off as well. Great smoke coming through from Genji via Huynh. And they get the plant, though. That's the biggest question. Plant over towards oh. Shen. The answer is yes. Huynh is down. I'm certainly not expecting Relics. So wide swung at heaven. No one with eyes on the prize at that point in time. It's back to the two on three. Makes it to a C9. They're looking to make this retake a reality. Kusta, though. Big doink onto Poise. It's up to Mitch who finds the first. Expects the second. GMD killed on the swing. And C9, another. Four rounds now. Second G, any time to think, any time to get into those post plans. Just so aggressive with fast retakes. Here we are. Kale stuck between a rock and a hard place. Hunter's Fury forcing him into the open. And Poise happily takes that one with open arms. Now, off the back of this Genji, hit the go button over towards the A site instead. Mitch trying to hold strong, which he does for a moment. But GMD. Oh, oh go very aggressively to heaven. Looks to catch C9 off guard. But unfortunately for him, C9 had guns at information there off the back of the drone. But Sean, can you find some follow-up? Oh, oh, the they were not expecting the peak from Zeta, but GMD at least ready for the trade. Knows that there's someone in the corner there. Mitch, see you later. Now there's no one left to defend the B site. C9, they need to make a move if they want to try to get some pickoffs before the plant, uh, before the spike goes planted. Dude, Relic's got their record time as well. He he bit, he almost got that kill. He misses. He whiffs. A little bit sad to see Leaf this time, not going to get caught out. That's huge for Cloud9. On this retake, they now have control of B main. If Leaf wins this duel as well, this can be the full defensive win. Yep, it's <laughs> Leaf versus Mikhail, down to just one. And Genji are in a world of pain. Who still wants more if he had more teammates alive? If he was. He's on the operator, and there's someone lurking in the corner. Relics, the sneaky bugger. All right, let's see if this it one is... works out. That's actually a little dangerous because a lot of teams on attack actually spam their box and they can both get spam, poise, or dash away. And the you hope is that run. Relics doesn't get spotted and then Relics can get a timing. Yeah. With this, uh, with this lockdown coming through, yeah, technically they're both safe, so maybe this will work out. They're trying to bait the shot out of poise. Poise's job there is to take the shot and make it known left. that he's fallen back to heaven. So. Off the back of that, no spam comes through. Relics is allowed to hold that position. Kusta, though, watching for the flank. Manages to find one of the mid Poise, another on to Mikhail as it looks like they're going to try to go for the retake early again. Not allowing Genji to get to these post plans. Poise makes the jump onto towards the top of Gen. As the shorty, he's looking for a close range engagement now. Trying to find anyone lurking in the corner. Sean and Quinn hold perfectly, though. As Zeta goes down, GMD, big impact. Four alive at the end for Put out as Genji are at the ready. They need these rounds. So much pressure on their shoulders as it looks like they're about to send it into the B site. But so set up. Mitch, is he going to be able to hold this time? In comes all the entries. Flashes are plenty. He's just hiding on the short side. Back of sight now. Finally spotted. That's the info needed. Quinn, can he deal with it? It's actually going to be Relics there coming Fine. in on the back of sight. Not quite spotted just yet. And Relics, his main job is to stop this bomb from being planted. Just causing so much of a nuisance. Bomb on the ground. And there is no chance for Gen G to win. C9 just need to survive. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Nine secured here. She down in the dumps here. Only two rounds in the half. It's going to be a long, tall hill for them to climb in the second if they cannot get a third here. And look at that. C9 aggression straight through B main. Three players running it down and making it work. Two kills already for them. And then the A-site players, they're just going to back away. Happy to play for the retake. GMD spotted at mid. He goes down as well. It's going from bad to worse for Gen G. And they're still not in sight. C9. All players have ran towards the A-site. Avril. They're not getting given any single room to breathe. They can at least plant here. I think they'll be able to do so in just a second. The smoke is going to come down. And that's actually Cloud 9 smoke, which helps out Gen G. So, uh, question marks, Relics. Not too sure about that one. With the post plant, I mean, is it possible? Look, Cloud9 have so many more members. We Ooh. talked about the Kusa post plant before, but he's caught, he's low. There's two members above him. He's revealed Ooh. his position, and his time is limited. There's a large possibility there. You can see when the shock dart connected, he was looking for that wall bang through the floor. And he almost connected, but alas, Mitch. Big glass will be smoked over. There's contact with the Kusta, who needs to trade for one. Double up coming through from the rest as well for Genji. That's quit on the backside. 5v4 found. Paranoia comes through nice and late there. And it is going to be the 
calculated push back in through a main, dealing with the numbers. GMD already on site, but not long. Mitch deals with him nicely. Sean as well. Cannot get any work done with the Ghost. And Kale coming out late and is able to trade for one. But again, a grasping at straws at the moment. Oh boy. And they have absolutely bought down. There's not a lot of money left. This needs to work out for Genji. I don't know if they want to get aggressive here. They're using a lot of youth. That's paranoia gone. I mean, yeah. most of, that's like most of their flashes, is there even another layer left? Because consider that Genji don't have the money, so they might not have been buying up. Oh. When we get a kill into Relics, that's a decent start. Another 5v4, but I don't trust the Genji 5v4s because they've been in 5v4s before and they haven't won. Let's see what they can do. There is a bit of a stack over towards the A site, and that's where C9's heading straight into this. GMD as well. Jiggling looking to draw as much attention as possible. Cruise to close range with the, uh, with the Frenzy. Gets one. GMD goes aggressive to look to trade. And Sean swings in from mid. There's the answer. And this is not some fantasy for them to actually do it. They have to kind of dominate these rounds and really ruin the economy of Cloud9. They, think, they know that Zeta was in the corner, and Zeta manages to fight his way out for the double kill. That's absolutely insane that he's even allowed to do that. Genji hit back with two of their own to bring it to the three on three. The site's being found by C9 getting the spike planted. They've even dropped the lockdown as well. Oh, just to buy some extra time. Leaf it. goes on the aggressive. This man's absolutely insane to be going for those plays, but he makes it work over and over. And again now, they've got the man advantage. Yeah, two versus three. You'll wait out the lockdown. That's fine. But it's seven HP on Kusta, I believe. So, I mean, that's it. Gimon was, you know, one of your other high HP players. If he goes down, a 3v3 is fine. If Gimon wins that, it's a 3v2. That's fine as well. But this situation one looks chalk for Genji. I think Cloud9 have oh. got it. And there it is. Genji. There to play with. So, Leaf sells. C9B forced to eco. This, this is Genji still pulling through. I mean, you got more of these. It's going to be pushing Mikael off. There's a lot of utility, though, and it's been popped. So they got to wait for the Nanoswarms. Once they wait out the Nanoswarms, and the fact that Genji have used the punch is very oh. mega early. We'll get a pick on the Leaf, which is so good. But Poise returns the favor. There you go, Hunter's Fury. Acquiring the kill onto Leaf as well. But with 40 seconds, you can see C9. They're starting to reroute slowly, but surely back towards the A side as well. The jump up over the top, there was the info that Mikhail went back to site, left. and they seemed to believe that the numbers side. were stacked from Gen G. Win just needs to hold here. control of Heaven here and set up for the retake. Win slows down. Do you see the recon bolt about to come out? This is the last ditch effort. They don't have the numbers either. C9. They are on the eco. I'm just for insurance as well. A few no things way. happening Hold for on. them. See if they can get into good positions. Oh my lord, it's enough to draw attention. Mitch on the flank, he's making it work. It's a four on one. It's all up to Quinn. And I dare say this is a little bit too much to do for him, but he's making it happen. Finding two already, two more to go. One at Gen, one all the way back on site. Hunter's Fury's being used. There's an opportunity here. Quinn tapping uh, is not able Nine. to get the half tick. That's the game. C9, they've done it. Relics, he's gone down. Quinn gets away with the consolation prize of a four.